Hello gang, I think I've got things ready and set up, but uh, again, this is a bit of a new format, so I will <laughs> just uh, take a few moments here to make sure we've got things ready and going. Um, what I want to do is um, make it so that chat is uh, available, so let me do a hacky solution here. And yes, as you can see, I'm using my uh, video camera for this one. Super fancy. Um, I should be able to... There we go. Hey, we got NSG Mommy in the chat. Um, all right, and one last check. Nope, not that one. There we go. Oops. <laughs> yeah, you have to bear with me for a second. Should have figured this out before the stream. You get to see the hammer struggle a bit with tech. There we go. I think that will work. Cool. All right. So, cool, and now how do I, where do I move chat, over here? <laughs> Not sure if I'm able to do both at the same time. <laughs> oh, brother. Well, glad to see you all here. Docs, chat. There we go. Okay. Nope. And now this goes down here. And now I can read chat. Yes. <laughs> Let me just make sure it's not doubled up. Okay. There we go. Oh, it's doubled. <laughs> uh, remove. There we go. Okay. I think this is uh, good enough to get started. So, thank you all for coming. Actually, one last thing I'll need to do. I will. Ping, it, ping people, because that's my standard approach, uh, just so they can get in and watch the stream live. Yes, I conquered technology. But, uh, amazing. And a ping of everybody in my server.
Bam. All right. I think we are ready to get going. Hello, chat. Hello, Spyro. Good morrow, sir, says Al's Hoomers. It's been a while since I've caught one of your streams. Yeah. Bro showing his face. Yeah. Yeah, this is my second ever time, I think, revealing my face on stream. Actually, I may have done it a few times in um, in some videos. But yeah, I don't do it very often. I did a face reveal a long time ago. But uh, yeah, let's get going on this tier list. So a few things before we begin this tier list. It is <laughs> going to be very subjective. And also what I'm expecting from this tier list, I've, I've kind of thought about this, but not really in depth, not to the point where I could point to certain tiers and say, okay, this character is going to go here. We're going to kind of figure it out together. Um, but one thing I'm kind of expecting from this tier list is that there's going to be a lot of heroes kind of clumped up near the top. Um, Shadow Fight Arena is a very power heavy game, power prepped game, you could say. Um, you can see that with the new heroes being released, that they are just really, really powerful. Yeah, you're right on that, Alice Humors. Um, so yeah, I'm expecting a lot of characters to be up here. What I'm going to try and do is separate some characters so I don't just put everyone in A. Um, you got to remember that for Shadow Fight Arena, like even D is like super strong. I'm going to go with a standard S, A, B, C, D system. Um, I don't know if I really feel like uh, kind of putting extra stuff into the tier list. I'll try and keep it simple that way. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try and separate the characters. Got to remember that D is still like super strong, not weak by any margin. Because I don't think there's any really weak heroes in this game. Um, and yeah, also another thing to remember, this is a 3v3 game. So some characters, so a few assumptions. I'm assuming we're ranking this based off of 3v3. Also going to be ranking this, I'm assuming every hero is going to be max level. And they're going to have their epic weapon. I'm going to factor in epic weapons for these because it's kind of the whole package that comes with the character. Or at least their best weapon in some ways. There's Sometimes the epic isn't always the best weapon. Um, there are also different builds for each hero, which can be making it very hard to rank. Um, I'm going to rank it based off of the, the builds that I kind of use, the builds that I see. I'm going to try and bring up perk names as much as I can, but <laughs> I've been playing this game for three years and I still don't remember all the perk names. I still don't remember all the perk names for Helga, who's like my favorite hero. So I might need to rely on you guys a little bit. If I'm thinking of a perk, I'll like say what it is, and then you guys can maybe maybe help me out with what the perk name is so I'm not uh, not uh, making mistakes. And then also, yeah, feel free to contribute your own opinions in chat. I'm going to try to make this my own tier list, but I'm always welcome to hear your opinions. So enough of the intro. We've got all heroes here, including June, so it's up to date. I'm going to try and go for the strongest hero first and the weakest hero first, and then try and work from there. So, strongest heroes. I think we have um, a few candidates for that. We have Clad, like basically this whole row here is pretty close to the strongest. Um, I'm going to throw Clad up in S tier right now. I think he is... Definitely just one of the strongest heroes. He has super oppressive frames. Um, knockout is such a really big deal with this character because it makes attacking him like such a big risk compared to like blocking. Like doing any sort of attack on him when he's doing like back attack or up attack, heavy attack even, like you just get blown up. And with the new rework that he got, he gets a free heavy kick afterwards which is like 800 damage 900 damage sometimes like a thousand with berserk on um yeah 
what else to note with Clad? His shadow form is really simple, but it's like nearly undodgeable. Like you can try to react to it. Well, not react. You have to predict it. It's too fast. Um, but honestly, it's like just you just got to eat it because you know that he can just do it at any point. But if you try and dodge away with a jump or a roll or whatever, he can just punish you for it. Um, his heavy attack is really damn good, especially with adrenaline. Adrenaline is another thing that's just crazy. Um, yeah, he gets an adrenaline charge every time he gets hit five times, which for some heroes, like, you know, Jet, which is pretty quick. That's like one attack. Um, and then he basically gets to walk in, walk you down. And if you move a muscle, he will do an up attack, heavy attack, whatever, and crit you and then get a combo. So he has really easy access to combos. Um, his corner pressure. Like this guy, he there was a period in time where he was like lower. Um, he was super strong. His, he's always been strong in this game, but there was a time where they like nerfed his health pretty big. Um, it was kind of not. It was some time after his rework, um, and they he was kind of in a spot where I thought like, okay, maybe he's like B or A or he's kind of weaker right now. But th since the changes have been made recently, one his or the the jump kick change now his offense is even better because if you're trying to make his heavy attack with he's now able to just jump kick you so he has access to like full screen hits and then he's right up in your face and can do upward attack or whatever uh what was the other change oh there's some other change i was thinking of so there's the shadow energy change as well where he gets faster shadow energy, which is awesome. Um, I'm forgetting what the change was. There was another one. Um, what was it? I'm forgetting now. Anyways, yeah, so... Okay, I'm going to try and point out some of the weaknesses of this character now. I'm going to try and go and vary. This this might be a long stream. I'll just uh, I'll say that right off the bat. I'm going to try and really leave nothing unsaid for these heroes. Really try and explain why I'm putting heroes where they are. I'm sure you all agree, but I still want to talk about them. Um, he is slightly weak to... Um, like, his weaknesses of his attacks are... Heavy attack can be rolled, but it's very hard because the prediction... Like, you have to predict it. You can't really react to it. Um, his up attack, you can make it with. You can jump it, but that's kind of suicide to try and jump it. His heavy kick leaves him open for a punish if he whiffs it. Um, and his back attack has pretty easy frames to punish if you um, have the right spacing and he, like, if you're not attacking, basically. Um, basic attack is short range, but the unbreakable on it is really nice. And yeah, low attack kind of is just like a, a grab ender move. Um, but the strengths of this character really far outweigh the weaknesses. And it's very hard to exploit these uh, weaknesses because one mistake and you get blown up. Um, yeah, so... Heroes that best counter him are like Jack, Sarge, Clad, may or sorry, Kate maybe. Um, other than that, it's it's pretty iffy on characters that he does poorly against. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call that good for Clad. I think uh, I think I've said enough. I think we I think we all understand here. Um, What's with the quality hammer? Uh, quality of the stream? Can try and make it a bit better here, but. Uh, uh, 
I don't know if I'll be able to. Video. Should be, what are, you, what are you talking about quality here? Yeah. Oh yeah, and also I, something I forgot to mention about Cloud is it's just really easy to pilot. Like, oh yes, the corner, the corner mechanic. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. Sorry, I have chats uh, closed while I'm uh, um, fiddling around with this. Yeah, so the corner pushback mechanic basically makes it so that he can just pressure in the in the con or in the corner over and over and over again because it's hard to get over him, get around him because he can do like back attack, whatever. Um, and yeah, you don't get to punish him for attacking you in the corner, so you're just kind of stuck there. But yeah. That's that's enough said for him. Uh, another character I think is S, or I said I was gonna go weakest character. Okay, let's let's try uh, let's try weakest character. Weakest character is real tough. Um, I'm sure that some people would say these characters are weak. Um, I I think <laughs> I used to think Marcus was kind of weaker, but with the new uh, block changes with the shadow gain. He's become really good. Um, who else? Butcher. He's not as good as people make him out to be, but I don't think he's the weakest. I think probably. Yeah, I would say these three are kind of on the weaker end in this game. Um, I would say. I think it probably goes like this yeah so let's talk about Jew first um Jew is a character that used to be super super oppressive um uh, with his triumph um also his fireworks was super super oppressive his heavy attack was good um yeah so his heavy attack used to be able to done that, done after grab. Um, he could do heavy attack into like heavy kick and then gain most of his triumph bar. Um, it was it was just so oppressive with how he how he went. <laughs> I'm see, I'm seeing your things on fire guards uh, thing right now. I'll I'll reexamine fire guard here. This is not where he's gonna probably end up. He might end up here. That's just my opinion. But um, I'm just trying to go for characters on the weaker end right now, and that's what I, I that's what I do think. Um, yeah, the thing that Jew struggles with now is his damage on his attacks. His special attack is kind of meh. Like it's it's okay on getting triumph, but it's not really good for much else. You don't get hit by special attack very often because it's kind of slow and. The first hit has pretty good range, but at that range, you're kind of maybe even whiffing it, and then you can interrupt it with certain attacks, like a jump kick. Um, and now you can roll. Oh yeah, that's another thing. His triumph was changed so that you can actually like go around it and not get hit by it. That was so frustrating. Um, yeah, you can roll under triumph. You can roll under fireworks a lot easier now. Um, and yeah, he just he just kind of struggles a little bit. The way you play him best, I think, is yeah, you just wanna you wanna get your triumph now because you get to keep it. Um, well, across rounds, you always got to keep it once you got a full bar. Um, or at least I think so. Oh, not word. <laughs> no, close window. Misclicked on word. Um. Yeah. What else to say? His up attack can be grabbed on block with both hits. It can be kicked with a legion back kick. I know that for sure. I think there's like other attacks like Kibo basic, Ling basic that can get it um, on the first hit cancel. His low attack is super easy to deal with. You can either grab it if he does the full thing. You can jump over the second hit if he whiffs the first one and then you can grab him from there or he can cancel it. But then if you get a read on that, you can punish him for that. Um, 
His back attack is good, but it's it's not really good on like making forward progress. It's kind of a panic move. Um Yeah, so there's he he does have a lot of weaknesses. I'll say the counterplay against him is a lot easier than it used to be now. And he doesn't do a lot of damage outside of Triumph. So I think he has to kind of work for his damage now, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I would say he's kind of on the weaker end. Um, talking about Monkey King now. Um, Monkey King is kind of in the same boat. He used to be a lot better with his uh, Ascension. He This is kind of a character that really blows up new char- or new players and like inexperienced players because people could just spam uh, Ascension and they would get like free block breaker block <laughs> block breakers uh essentially um but then i and others started figuring out that there was a certain like dead zone in his um in his um ascension attack range like if you stand a certain distance away from him he if he did forward ascension you would go over him and then you could grab him and if he did the backwards ascension, you could dash and grab him, and he would miss you. Or if he canceled it and wept down, you could punish him or whatever. So if you stood a certain distance away from him, you were safe. Um, but then there's the whole mix-ups with like canceling your ascension quickly into a block breaker attack and all. Um, yeah, and that's one thing that Al Zoomers is saying. Um, I don't think they needed to nerf his ascension. I think that that was an unnecessary nerf. His ascension now is like almost almost unusable. It's still usable in some situations, like if your opponent's rolling away after a grab or something. But um, yeah, and that's another thing too. Uh, Max is his ascension. If he had good reflexes, which I don't think I do. Um, you can anti-air it with certain moves, especially now though with the speed decrease, it's super easy to to just punish it on reaction. Um, another thing too is you could sidestep it, so there was there was counterplay. Um, and another thing is his uh, his Jingu attacks have never been great. Um, in fact, they've been like bad. Like you shouldn't use them because they're almost a free punish for your opponent. Um, it used to be that for forward Jingu, it was a lot slower, so you could duck it on, on reaction, which is easy, because unless you're doing an attack, like you have time to just duck it on reaction, so there's almost no reason to use it instead of like a hard read from Monkey King. Um, and his up Jingu strike is also super slow, so you can just dodge it on reaction, just jump. And one thing that I will maintain is that Royal Combo, I still see some people using it, is like a bad perk. You shouldn't use it because it opens you up for a free punish. So if Monkey King does an upwards Jingu strike right next to my face, I can just jump it and then anti-air him out of his ascension before he can hit me. And then I get like a jump kick if he has the reflex roll. Or I can do like a... If he doesn't have the reflex rule, I can do like a some sort of up attack and then some sort of low attack and get a free damage that way. Yeah, so it's like it's like a borderline a nerf to him if you use that perk. Um they did speed up his Jingu strikes um uh, recently. And they made it so that you could or so that you couldn't duck it anymore for a while. And then they ended up reverting that change. And I kind of think you should be able to duck it, but if you can duck it, it should be fast. If it's going to be slower, like it kind of is right now, I think you should be able to roll, or if you should only be able to roll it. I think rolling it, it should be a um, reasonable punish, or a reasonable method of counterplay for the forward Jingu strike, but they've made it so that you can duck it, so... There is that. They are kind of bad. And one thing with his build is since his uh, 
since his Jingu strikes are so bad, you kind of are forced to go, like, you can either go all in with the Jingu, like the taunt for energy, or the you gain more energy on hits or whatever. Um, you can go for his Jingu build, which I think is bad. You shouldn't do it. You should take everything that doesn't apply to Jingu. Um, so it kind of forces one kind of build out of him. And the only redeeming thing about his Jingu strikes are his um, are his uh, or his, his epic weapon. You can kind of use it like a Marcus shadow form now in a way, like like a parry. Um, like I know you're gonna attack, so I'm gonna use my Jingu and whatever. Honestly, I feel like that should be like base kit. <laughs> like <laughs> like I feel like it should be base kit because. If you're going to make a move that's slow and not that easy to use, easy to punish, like it, it, you should make it so that it has some benefits. Um, a few other things to note. His, um, his special attack has a weakness where sometimes when he hits you on block, the second hit will whiff. His special attack is also, you can roll backwards and get a free grab out of it. So if you're up next to him, he tries to go for a grab, let's say. He gets a special attack instead. If you roll backwards, he'll hit you. You'll keep rolling backwards, and then the second hit of his special attack will whiff, and then you get a free grab. So it does have a weakness that way. Um, he's pretty weak to low attacks for his basic attack. His basic attack is pretty meh. I think that they should make his basic attack like a more of a mid attack. Because so many moves in this game just crush it, like go under it, and it is kind of slow. This basic attack is okay, but for what it tries to do, it's just, it doesn't do it great. Um, his good attacks are up attack and low attack and back attack. Heavy attack is kind of meh. You kind of just block it, because again, it's easy to block on reaction. The only thing is the, if he has the... Uh, block breaker effect on it that's pretty good but again you can pretty easily dodge that on reaction um but yeah i do think that he is a bit on the lower end but i don't think he's as bad as people seem um he actually does have pretty good frames in a way and i know that might confuse some of you when i say that um but uh his up attack is good. Um, special attack cancel is good. Like, that's a good poke. People underestimate the power of just doing a special attack as your range and approach option. Um, and, I yeah, like, your neutral kind of depends on those two attacks, I would say, until you're up close. And then it depends more on, like, kicks and back attack. Um, but, yeah. I think people do underestimate his up attack and his special attack cancel as like good options to check the opponent. So I will say that. Um, yeah, I think he kind of struggles a bit. He does good damage. That's one thing I will say, especially with his uh, third or like his highest perk, the rings, his Thanos perk or whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's kind of a weird kit. He's got... Most of his build is centered around Jingu, but Jingu sucks. And then his moves are kind of mid. He's kind of just, he doesn't really have any special abilities, which is kind of what makes him low. But his attacks can keep him alive, but compared to the rest of the cast, he doesn't really operate in a cohesive way, I would say. Um, let's move on to Fire Guard now. So, Fire Guard, I would say, kind of has a bit of a range frames problem, like a range dash or slash rain problem um the thing about his um like he has really good basic attack when it comes to frames but it's very short range and can be pretty easily punished if you're anywhere more than an inch in front of his nose um his special attack is probably his best attack um even though it's kind of like it's it's great for poking, it's great for the knockdown, 
especially because that combos into uh, his shadow move, which he gets for free because it regenerates. Um, his back attack is kind of just useless. Don't use it, probably. Like, it's kind of a novelty move. Doesn't really do much. Um, his low attack is kind of the same boat. It's like you should only really use it after a grab because other than that, or like a, whenever the, your opponent's on the ground, because other than that, it has like a really stubby range. You can't really do much with it in the neutral. Um, so yeah, he's got one, two, and then his up attack. Um, his up attack is good, but it doesn't do a lot of pushback, so you can actually almost grab it in a lot of cases. So Fireguard's kind of in a spot where the only great move to use is like his special attack which makes them pretty predictable. Um, anything other than that, you can kind of work around and punish him. Um, he, his, his attacks don't really lead into each other very much. You kinda, you're kind of single strikes and then whatever. So those are his neutral moves. I think his neutral move set is kind of is on the lower end for sure. Um, where he shines, though, is <laughs> being able to just blow you up with painful burns and uh and his explosion damage because i don't like ever since they changed the backwards movement like the backwards jumps the backwards um the backwards um uh, walking you can't like can't even dodge uh fire guard anymore <laughs> like it's so hard to dodge his explosion that you like are almost guaranteed to get hit in a way. You have to be very, very intelligent about how you get him below 50% health or below 0% health um, in order to stop yourself from losing most of your health bar. And I think that's honestly, this is like what Fire Guard comes down to is are you going to get hit by a trial explosion? If yes, you're down to like 10% at at worst best i don't know you're down to 10 percent probably um or if you don't then you you do well um his he also has another play style his camping his campfire play style as i like to call it um yeah where he just sits back and uh does his breath and then just waits and that playstyle is like kind of hard to deal with, but it's also not that threatening if you are patient. Um, what I do when Fireguard does his breath is I just sit there. I just say, okay, if you want to sit behind your fire, I will let you do that and I'll let it burn out and then we can start playing the game again. <laughs> because so many times if you jump in, um, he would like grab you. Um, now, now that I think about it with the new jump kick, change you could probably afford to like pressure him a bit more if he does that um but he can still do like special kick even that's another move that i should talk about is a special kick i actually really like the special kick um yeah i i, I agree free to player i don't think that build is like your competitive build with fire guard um it's definitely trial explosion just because it's almost guaranteed like free three thousand damage um yeah, his herald kick his herald kick is good for approaching now, especially since they buff that. Um so yeah, I would say he, he kinda is just a pressure you with fire character. His his basic attacks, like his moveset is just I don't know. I don't think it's very good compared to a lot of the cast. And and we'll see guys about putting him up higher. I do think he's kind of on the lower end, but I could be wrong because I actually did get blown up by a fire guard the other day. So maybe I, I should probably give him a better chance. But these, in my mind, these are the weaker characters currently. We'll see how whether they move after I put a few more characters in here. Okay, um, let's try and find a mid. Or you know, what, let's. I need to stop scrolling around like that. No, not word again. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, let's let's read read chat a little bit. Um, uh, 
class to get a Jalen. She was actually better than Monkey King. This badly designed. Fire Guard's pretty mid until painful burns. Yeah, like just it's just it's just the explosion, really. That's all. That's that's Fire Guard's almost in his entire game plan. Um. Yeah. Let's see what else are you guys saying. Fire Guard, yeah, you guys seem to think that Fire Guard's a lot better, and I I could be convinced, but. Um, I kind of disagree on up attack is good for poking. It's good for one poke. It doesn't leave you in a good spot after. Because you give up your turn. But what else are you going to use it for, right? Um, one thing people do use it for is, is after grab doing an up attack, which I think is like his best move to use after grab because it gives his best frames and makes the opponent roll away a little bit. But you can, with a delayed recovery kick, you, you spam, you can punish him with a recovery kick there. So that's another thing. He doesn't have great after grab moves. Um, one thing I've been doing is actually special kick after grab. His special kick is actually like maybe one of his best poking tools as well, even though it can lead to him getting grabbed a lot. I think his special, his special kick on paper is like maybe his top two move. Um, but the only thing that makes the drawback is his um, getting punished on block for it. Um, I'm going to put June up here. <laughs> Again, this might take a while, this, uh, this stream. But um, June is, in my opinion, probably the worst designed character they've brought to the game. Not in terms, not like Fire Guard or these guys where they're, they have struggles or weaknesses or just like inconsistencies. This one is like, what were you thinking, man? Like, you're telling me that, yeah, you're, you're telling me that you think that giving a character block breaker on command, making it so that she does like 800 damage on every single special attack she does that's blocked on block, special 800 damage on block with her meteors. Um, and the fact that she can instantly switch between forms and do a critical, uh, really evasive uh, up uh, astral ability. Her up astral ability is so weird in that I can't anti-air it with like almost anything. Um, if she's right in front of my face, and she does up astral. I'm like, okay, she's going to do up astral. Basic kicks. No, you get hit. I'm going to do Legion King up attack. No, <laughs> you get hit. Um, I'm going to do a jump kick. No, <laughs> you get hit. It's I don't know how to anti-air it because um, it's so fast. And if she's right in front of you, she can just go up and do it. And there's like on reaction, it's like impossible to, to dodge. Like, your options are, like, roll forward, dash forward, roll backwards, dash backwards. Or, like, jumps, maybe. But <laughs> it's, you, you, by the time you notice her up in the air, you don't really have time to, to do anything. And her up astral crit combos into itself. So if she gets a crit on her up astral, she can just do another one and get another crit. And then now she's in her meteor form and can do like a special attack right after it's, it's just crazy not gonna mention um not gonna mention how she used to be like on launch with like corner pressure like basic attack basic kicks up attack S like so oppressive so cheesy so annoying um I'm going to try, I'll explain maybe why I put her below clad in a second here. But again, it's tough with a lot of these characters. Um, yeah, like she's on paper, like with her abilities, she, she could play the entire game just using her like astral abilities. Like I've seen people do that where they just spam astr up astral ability and um, whatever. Um, yeah, all you can really do is jump back. Yeah, that's that's true. Um, 
Her heavy attack is super long range, and with with her meteors, it's whatever. Um, yeah. So I think you guys kind of all know her strengths. Uh, I'll try and talk about her move set and some of her weaknesses. Um, if you haven't watched my June video, I would go do that at some point. Um, I do a good job of explaining all of her moves. Um, for one, her basic attack, like her, her moveset's kind of janky in a way. Since it's a knife that has like almost act as like a point, like a point source of damage instead of like a blade, which is a arc or a, like a line, like a zone. Um, Certain moves can be like jumped, like up attack, up close can be jump kicked, which I think is one of the ways you play against June is like use jump kick sometimes. Her special attack though does anti air, so that does rectify it. So you have to play around that. Um, jump kick can counter low attack, and in some cases can counter heavy attack. I think I showed you where it like went over the head of the opponent, and then underneath them uh, in in that. Yeah, that's kind of the thing. Her, is her regular attacks are pretty easy to punish. Um, one of the best ways I've found to play against June is, like, you kind of have to be aggressive. Like, a lot of base kicks with June. She comes up close with her up attack, her special attack, her low attack. So you're kind of base kicking all the time. Like with Dynasty for one, um, with Heralds for two, for Legion it's a bit tougher with using basic kick. It's more of like a back kick or whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, one thing that's nice is you can sometimes grab her up attack on block. You can sometimes grab her low attack on block ish. Um, her her back attack I think can be grabbed on block. People don't really use that though. It's not. It's kind of a man move. Um, yeah, you you got to spam cl close, fast range moves against her, and it will do okay. But as soon as she gets her offense started, you're you're kind of done for. Um, so yeah, I would say, as far as like the ranking between them goes, it's tough. Like, I would say consistently. Clad has less counterplay than June does. Um, I think June has almost no counterplay for her her astral abilities, like her up astral for sure. Her low astral can kind of be has some counterplay, but I would say when it comes to difficulty facing these characters, this guy is harder to deal with. But I think this character is this character's power is probably more than clad's but the thing that might make me put june below clad is just the fact that i can have a game plan with june with clad my game plan is oh god please don't hurt me in a way um yeah so She's she's a very, very strong character. Okay. Uh, next one. Whew. I think, uh, you know what? Let's go for... Uh, let's see what Helga... Where is Helga? Um, <laughs> this is my main. So... Or not my... This, this is one of the characters that I play the most, for sure. I have a ton of fun with her. I think she she's been called weak by the majority of the community, it feels like. Um, like, I see this take all the time where, like, Helga is weak and whatever. Um, I just disagree. I think she's straight up almost better than anybody <laughs> in a way. Like, I, I, I kind of jokingly called her S tier before, and I, I almost believe it. I kind of do believe it. Um, the thing is, like, compared to these other characters, it's like, yeah, I don't know. She 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 almost has no weaknesses in a way. Um for one, her basic attack is just awesome. Um really fast, can be kind of weak to low dynasty kicks. Um 
It's a great poking tool. As Helga, I use basic all the time. Um, her special attack is can be um, can be punished with some things, like a cobra. I think can go charge bite up attack, and you can't like you're stuck as Helga. You you can't dodge that. Um, let's see. Her back attack can be weak to lows, but it's a really fast uh, move that is good if you can make a call out. Um, her up attack is a really good call out tool. Like, I know you're going to attack. I'm going to do an up attack. And the unbreakable frames on it are great. It's like, it's almost in a way as this might be a hot take, but it's almost as good in terms of unbreakable frames and speed as clad, but her recovery time on her up attack is low, so she kind of doesn't really get a good follow-up after. Um, you guys are saying she's like mid-tier. I don't know. She's not mid-tier, I don't think. She's not B. She's definitely higher than B. Um, I think where I am going to end up putting her is like top of A. She is top of A, I think. Um, she does like another thing to consider is like matchups. She doesn't have a lot of bad matchups in this game. Um, like against Kate, she does well. Cobra's good. Her uh, shining dashes are good to negate the serpent toxin. Um, again, her basic is really good to pressure Cobra. Link's uh, special attack is good to to pressure him. Um, sh or light in the shadows can kind of be a nice don't do a shadow combo on me. Uh, Midnight is one character where she's, she struggles against, but with good play as Helga, you can take her out pretty easily. But you got to be willing to just uh, lose to shadow form a bit. Uh, Emperor is... <laughs> you get a free win against Emperor. Um, Kibo is good. She can compete. Azuma, same thing. Ling is kind of iffy. Um, Jet, um, she can do fine against... I think Yuka is another character that kind of does well against um, Helga. Um, kind of even Shang, in a way, I think, does pretty well against Helga, even though she's supposed to be a shadow counter. like. Shang can just say, I'm going to do my shadow combo anyways. Sarge is also another person that Helga struggles against. Um, but uh, like him, him, um, Butcher, E2, like all these characters she can do pretty well against, I would say. And in, in my opinion, she's, she's top of A. Um, in some cases, maybe you could argue she's S tier. But I think that you guys are kind of missing a bit of her power with uh, how good she can be. Because um, her offense leads into each other. Like, her offense is really good, like, to continue motion with. Like, she doesn't, she doesn't pause a lot when she is playing. She can block, of course, and play defensive. But, you know, your game plan kind of is clear. Why yeah. <laughs> you disagree? I no. I I almost put uh, I almost put Helga in S, and free to player. I disagree. I think I actually favor Helga over over Jack. I favor Helga over Jack. Um, yeah. Another thing is that if you don't dodge her shining dashes, you die. <laughs> like on paper, this character is like June in a way. She can um, do a invincible dash that does like a thousand damage uh, with her heavy attack every like four or five hits, um, and and you get like a follow up, so she can go shining dash, special attack or basic attack, get it almost again, um, and if you're not dodging her sh her shining dashes you're gonna die um and the the best way to dodge her shining dashes is to do a neutral jump over her which really puts a lot of pressure on the opponent to like constantly be thinking about shining dash because um 
because yeah, like you, you can punish her with a grab, but if you're not doing that, you're going to die. That's kind of why I've been taking a break from her recently is because people have been starting to jump her, uh, jump her a bit, but yeah, I mean, uh, Yudi, th this tier list is based on like top play. This is not, because another thing you got to remember with shadow fight is like characters are stronger than what people make them look to be. Um, the the tier list is pretty dependent on who is playing which character the best. Like that does favor or that does factor into my thinking about how strong a character is. Because like I think Jack is strong, but if you're a weak player playing Jack, I'm gonna destroy you. Because if you're whiffing all the time, I just win. But strong players don't whiff with Jack, so therefore I can tell that like okay, maybe he has some weaknesses in terms of speed and end frames, but what's what's the actual reality of what's being done? So And it goes the opposite way, too. Like, I think Midnight is a character that people have kind of forgotten about just because no one really plays her too much anymore. But, like, with good play, she can be... Um, like she could be super super strong she was super super strong i had her in s tier for a long time and that was during the era when she wasn't nerfed yet um the nerfs that did happen to midnight were actually not that much in my opinion but people seem to think okay she's just dead um but yeah the whoever like people playing characters can demonstrate how strong they can be um and i think i have demonstrating that helga can basically take on anyone in the game and have a favorable matchup in a lot of cases. Got to remember, she is Afterlife too, where she can rush you down for like ten seconds and do as much damage as she can. So, um, okay, yeah, I I think she's she's strong. She has a bit of weaknesses in terms of like end lag on some moves, like up attack and low attack and stuff, um, and special attack, but. Her offense is just, it's its nice, it's easy, it's simple. She gets called simple a lot by a lot of people. But I actually think Helga could be one of the most complex characters in terms of um, like the mix-up potential because there's like the constant threat of shining dashes. You know, once you're in the corner, it's like, okay, is she going to do a shining dash? Is she going to do a, a heavy attack? Is she going to try and grab me? And then you gotta you gotta try and predict her and say, okay, do I do a basic kick and eat a shining dash, or do I do a basic kick and catch you trying to grab me? Um, also, another thing is like after grab when you can do a backward shining dash, like people can dodge that, but there's a ton of mix up potential there because Helga can just delay her shining dash and catch you anyways. If you do a delayed roll and Helga does her special or shining dash backwards after a grab immediately, you can dodge it. If you, but then Helga can delay her shining dash, which allows you to, which makes her hit you even if you delay it. But if she delays her shining dash, you can do a quick stand into a jump, and then you can punish her. Um, or Helga can say, "I know you're going to roll forwards." I'm going to do a heavy attack or a low attack, and then I'll do my shining dash. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so there's, there's, she's really good at like exerting control over the match in a way, um, in terms of like making reads. So she is called simple, but I think that like the mix up potential with her is actually one of the, one of the, greatest in the game um yeah and meanwhile you're just doing forward shining dash yeah <laughs> true um let's see uh, yeah fire alert saying helga could take anybody in the game indeed like yeah like again it kind of comes down to can you deal with helga if so you win if if not well, even even if you can deal with Helga, like she does get invincible dashes, which is really good. Um, yeah, there's a reason I love her. She's easy. She's super strong. I never, I never feel 
well, I do feel like I'm on my back foot a lot when I play this game, but with Helga, I feel very confident. I know that any match I go into, I can make a comeback with. Like on 10% health with Helga, I'm not afraid because I get afterlife and then I can whatever. Uh <laughs> What 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 did I do? Bro didn't get it. Uh, I don't know if I get it. Someone might need to explain the joke to me. Or you could keep that as an inside joke. <laughs> don't explain it to me. May might be funnier that way. Is it the moan? The moan puts her S tier. Let's be real. <laughs> no. Okay. Next character. Um Let's see. I think I I got to put Zoo somewhere up here. I think I got to put Zoo in uh S tier. Still, even after the the nerfs. Um this character is also just a really dumb inclusion. Um you got it perfectly right, Hammer. Good. Yeah. <laughs> She's my wife, man. What can I tell you? I don't even notice it anymore. Um, anyways, <laughs> so Zoo is a, another, uh, just kind of busted hero. He used to be just worse. Like he used to be, I think he was top one for a while. Um, I think after the nerf people dropped him, but again, like it really depends on who's playing him because I don't see much of him anymore, but I know for a fact that if a strong player picked him up, he would dominate the arena for like for really good reasons, right? Um, pain is everything is it makes it so here's the thing with him. This is a character that can heal like 400 damage every time he hits you with Vendetta, um, which is kind of a crazy concept to me. Like, you can trade, a, the more you trade with Azuma, or with Zoo, like, the more you trade attacks, the you're the more you're in a bad situation. When you're hitting him, you want to hit him hard as much as possible, right? Because you want to prevent him from healing when he hits you and getting his adrenaline health back with, like, another thing. He has the potential to, like, instantly heal infinite amount of damage, like 3,000 damage in some cases. Um, yeah, um, but the thing with trying to hit him repeatedly in a row is he gains rage when you hit him, which I think is a super dumb thing. I don't think you sh like kind of most characters in this game. I feel like you shouldn't get energy when you get hit, but, um, some Sometimes it's fine, but like for some characters like Zoo, it's I don't think that's fine. Um, he gains rage super fast. Um, the gameplay against him is basically just you like can't even let him hit your block because you know as soon as he gets his rage, he'll just do like a fifty percent combo on you for free because his moves become godlike in in rage mode. His heavy attack is full screen, unreactable. Um, if you roll it, unlike clads, you don't always get a punish on him. Um, if you roll backwards, you'll get hit because he can just do a low attack after. Um, the explosion means that if you hit him, you get punished, which is a really silly concept again, in my opinion. You should never get punished for doing well for doing your job and punishing the opponent. Um, yeah, he, it's, you, you, you kind of just let yourself, like you don't really worry about trying to get good hits in. You just hit their block and you let them hit your block and then you get a block breaker combo that's like nearly unavoidable. Yeah, and it's just, and then you can heal. It's just, it's just so bad, man, so bad. Um, they nerfed the explosion, so now you actually have a chance against him. But, um, yeah. 
Honestly, just based on these two, I am kind of tempted to like drop clad a little bit just because like, <laughs> I think you can hear it in my voice. Like just the design of these heroes is like designed in a way to make you not have a good option. Like the, these characters have something inconsistent or consistent with each other. You don't really have a good option against them to deal with them. Um, yeah. So, uh, who is stronger, man? I actually think I might go like that. I don't know. Like, again, it's hard to rank them within the tier. Um, I would say right now, based on who's using the heroes, <laughs> Primo for one, I think Clad is probably number one for me right now, just because like this will change. But right now, I am like at a very consistent loss rate against people who use Clad. Like it is is just something I'm having a hard deal ter term to deal with. No, I'm not saying he's below S tier. I'm just trying to rank them within the within the thing. Um, yeah, pain is everything. Lets him stab himself in the leg, and then he gains a lot of shadow or a lot of rage energy, which is a really good perk too, because it means that you can like use it as a parry in a way. You can stab yourself, get an explosion, get the explosion hits you, and you can do a heavy attack, like. <laughs> The only weakness this character has is, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what their weakness is, man. Their weakness is like Marcus and Sarge. That's kind of it, because like he's, he's weak if you have a character who can go invincible and deal a lot of damage while invincible, because he can't control when he goes into rage. So when he goes into rage, you can do your Marcus combo and uh, and basically kill him. But if you're not playing those heroes, what you know, like one thing I will say for him is he. Um, what was I gonna? Say? <laughs> one thing I was gonna say: uh, weak to characters have guaranteed crits. Ah, uh, yeah, I could see that maybe. Um, yeah, as well as Marcus and Sarge. Yeah, I can agree to that. Um, oh yeah, one thing I will say is you can actually, like, defeat this character, and he will still keep playing for a long time. Like, since he can heal really fast, he's a great, he's infinite comeback potential with, with, uh, Pain is Everything and Vendetta combined. Um, just because he can always go back up to a certain health. He can totally tank. Um, like he can totally tank super high damage stuff if he hits you afterwards. Um, yeah, like you can defeat this character. You can you can do like four thousand damage in one hit and drop them to zero, but then their their adrenaline has to take a long time to get there, and that is just time where he can hit you. So he he has more health than it seems because of that. With pain is everything, of course. But yeah, again, I think I think people mostly agree with me on Zoo. I think that he is S tier. He needs nerfs. Still, people aren't using him. People aren't talking about him right now. But he still is super, super strong. Um. Okay. Next up. Uh, where would we put uh, Kate? Kate is Kate is a bit interesting. I think Kate is kind of weak in some ways to just like fast characters. Like she does, she doesn't have a great healing perk other than never surrender, which doesn't, which kind of can be negated by a lot of characters who deal high um, burst damage. Um, she's kind of just basic attack the character in a way. Um, Low attack and up attack are good, but they're kind of overshadowed by basic attack. Um, the pushback she does is really good. Um, the damage she does can be insane. Like, I, I do... Again, we're starting this A-tier thing, but... 
I don't know. I could see I could see her being B tier. Um she one thing I will say is she's got a nice uh very high B. Yeah, e, I'm she might even go A. Uh I think she's she's more difficult than she seems in a way, which is weird because you think just spam basic attack and have good success, but if you're not just spamming, you kind of like her basic attack can be is is actually kind of slow in my opinion. Um, I guess maybe what happens is you whiff the first hit a lot and then you get punished for it. Um, but it's it is kind of hard to challenge Kate in terms of that. But yeah, I I think I have thought of her as B for a while, but I think she can be A. But again, like I would rather face a Kate than a lot of these a lot of these heroes. So I think for I think I'm actually gonna put her B. Um <laughs> I guess I gotta be mindful of like would I face a Helga? And I guess I don't feel uncomfortable facing a Helga, but I actually kinda do in a way. So maybe like this ranking should be how comfortable do you feel facing them? Um yeah. Uh, a she is difficult, but she can use really well. Yeah, it, it's kind of tough. I think I'll. I think I'm gonna put her B for now. I might raise her higher once I get the rest of the heroes kind of situated. But uh, um, yeah, it's her game plan is very simple. It's use basic attack and punish with like special attack and stuff. So she's. There's there's not a lot of like um, there's not a lot of create she can be very tricky don't get me wrong but yeah it's kind of kind of tough I haven't really I'm kind of coming up with these as I go this is kind of just my feeling um, but whatever do jet sure we can do jet um, <laughs> no. Um, huh. Jet is a character that's like I compare her to Clad and I know that that's kind of crazy to some people but my justification for this is like not based on her moveset of course it's based on her ability to heal consistently with that healing perk and um and her health. She has earned her damage. So like healing, health, and damage. Yeah, I, I know. What are you taught? Yeah. I know you guys agree with me. I, or I know you guys disagree with me here. But let me let me talk. Let me talk. I'll, I'll try and explain. So, for one, she can spam special attack on repeat. Because it does huge amounts of pushback. You don't have a great follow up once you're pushed that far. So her pushback on her special attack needs to be nerfed for sure. Um, she does huge amounts of damage with every hit she does. She is a hero that will hit you with one attack and do a thousand damage, which is like. 30% of your health in a lot of cases. Um, her up attack crushes a lot of kicks for one. Special carries her, yes. Um, her, yeah, she's just super tricky. She has frames that um, just kind of she like she has really good frames and her damage and healing and also something to consider is like when you're facing a jet the clock is a very real thing to contend with because her attacks take like 5 seconds to perform each so depending on whatever like depending on how the match is going if you're blocking her a lot like if she's making good attacks on you but you're blocking you're not really making progress meanwhile she can deal lots of damage with any mistake you make and uh she can heal really fast um or she can heal with shadow energy 
she gains a lot of shadow energy with her projectiles. That's another thing. Her projectiles are kind of wonky in a way. Like, I swear when I duck those, I shouldn't be getting hit, but I do sometimes still. So, um, what were you saying? Uh, Hammer, have you considered using Harold Low Kick on any of Jet's moves on reaction? She is trash. Um, okay. But, okay, you're saying that if I use the perfect attack every time that she's trash, which is true. If I use the wrong attack, or if I, if I use the perfect counter to this hero every time, she will be garbage. But you got to ask yourself, like, how difficult that is. And, you know, maybe I should try it. But it's not something that I do all the time, is low attack against Jet. Um, but uh, another thing to consider, I don't have a great reaction, I don't think. So, I don't know. And what? Oh, let me ask you this. What happens if you miss a low attack? You, you eat a 1,000 damage special attack. What happens if you... What happens if you hit your, your low attack? You get like, what, 200, 300 damage once? And not a huge great follow-up? So the risk-reward is pretty high in terms of Jet's favor, I would say. Jet gets demolished by Kibo. Yeah, another thing to consider, you got to know that I'm coming from the perspective of playing like these these heroes. I mean, maybe less of him, but like him, maybe. Like these heroes. These heroes are kind of what I play. Um, and they, they kind of struggle against Jet in a lot of ways. But, uh, yeah. Um, I, I'd agree with that, Max. Jet's weapon is what makes her really good. In addition to the other stuff that makes her good. Like, she she's really... She's really strong against like single hit characters because every hit she does puts her up to like full power basically. Not all the time, but she gets a lot of harmony charges if you hit her or if she hits you with an attack. Um and with her um like with her seeds, she can negate like eight hits, which is sometimes like half the match and she's at full power where every time she hits you she does a thousand damage. Like, she does damage. She does healing. She does pushback. She does a lot of things. And yes, she has weaknesses. You can interrupt her with some of her moves. But, like, a good jet is not going to whiff the first attack or two on you. Like, a good jet's not going to use special attack from far away. A good jet is not going to use heavy attack or heavy kick when you're outside of the range. A good jet is not going to use up attack if you are not within range. It's like, she just has really good offense, I would say. Um, she used to be a lot worse with her shadow shelter. Don't get me started on shadow shelter. That was like my least favorite perk in the entire game <laughs> because she got to keep it infinitely. Another thing, yeah, I think Jet is a lot easier than people make her out to be. She's harder than a lot of characters for sure, just because you gotta like understand what her moves do. But in terms of uh, the offense she exerts, like it's not that crazy. You just instead of doing a single hit with spamming your A button or your attack button, now you're doing like ten hits with her with spamming the attack button. But um I don't know if I'll leave her up in S. I kind of feel like I do, though. Like, <laughs> she's just... she's. I think she's better than Helga. She's like... If I could like put her like here, maybe, I would do that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think, I think she's... I, you know, I think she's probably more like this. I think these guys are kind of on like in a tier of their own in a way. Um, but Jet is much better than you guys are telling me she is, I think. Like I I've I've played against Jet for a long time and I still struggle with her. I still don't know how to deal with her much. Just cuz the pushback, the frames, like she's just very very oppressive. 
Um, yeah, and Oblivion's saying, well, she isn't going to be trashed just because Harold Low Kick can counter her. Like, yeah, like, okay. So say you start spamming low attack or low kick on her. She can adapt pretty easily to that. And if you whiff it, you're going to get hit. So I guess don't whiff it. But another thing to consider is like low attack does have a startup time. An interaction that I can see happening is you're up close to Jet. She does her special attack. You go down thinking to try and hit her. Uh, you hit her block. And then she can do a special attack against you again. Maybe you don't get the low attack or whatever. Pushes you to the corner. Now she does her patented pressure there, where she can do up attack, kicks, whatever. So, I ah, fucking, I keep opening word. <sighs> yeah, so. You do it on reaction. It's a skill check. You know, I'll, 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 I'll try it. I'll try I'll try doing a low attack here but uh I think she's strong. So Okay. I'm going to do links too. Yeah, I guess like comparing these two. Like links versus jet, links is a lot worse. Um cuz like they kind of the thing about jet is like she does a lot of damage, so does links, but jet has a lot of health. So that's a reason why I might keep her here. Like you got to keep in mind like her physical stats are like some of the best in the game. She does like almost the most damage on just normal hits compared to anybody. She is one of the highest health values in the game for some reason, which is doesn't make sense to me. Um and she can heal on top of that. So in some cases you can get like 15,000 health in one match, which is a lot, let me tell you. And that and they did nerf that I think, but whatever. Held basic kick is also good versus jet spell. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, free to player is saying skill issue, but I don't know, man. Maybe, but if it's like, I don't think I'm bad at the game. <laughs> like, I've been number one a few times. I play a lot. Like. You gotta, and this character is just always giving me issues. Like, I've never been like, okay, I found the answer to her. I found the answer to some characters, but whatever. Okay, Lynx. Lynx is also S tier and oof, tough, man. I think, honestly, it might be like this. Right now, his bomb is just blowing me up, man. Like, his, I think maybe, nah, it's tough, really tough, something like that. I think, I think this, this is right though. Um, I showed a clip in chat a while ago where, um, bomb, you have like, you have one second to react to Lynx when he does his bomb. You have one second to decide, okay, am I going to retreat or am, am I going to attack? And by the time you react, which is like 30% of a second, 0.3 milliseconds or something, and then on top of that, you have to perform, start performing your attack, which is like, you know, you're probably at half a second just with like deciding what you're doing and inputting it into the game. Then you got your your move, which may or may not be able to even get there in time he can go up to you bomb a low attack special attack and get it for basically free like he can attack like what was it like eight frames six frames after he throws his bomb his bomb is like 0.4 milliseconds like i gotta remember like you can't attack him directly either because his bomb has a lingering hitbox so if you try and do goes bomb and you do a back kick which may get him he you'll get hit by the bomb still another thing is like his bomb reaches super far with that talent to the point where like if you're doing an attack like a back kick from like i saw a clip where if you're like 
like a dash distance away and you're doing a back kick, um, maybe not the smartest thing to do at that range, but he can hit you with his bomb from like dash distance away. Um, another thing is his basic attack. I'm doing a stream, but yeah. Um, no, it's just my brother. Um, so his his basic attack is what I would argue like a perfect attack. Um, it doesn't have like any weaknesses in a way. Uh, the only weakness I can even point to is like. Uh, the pushback is enough to the point where I can try to attack him. It's very often not the case where I should attack him because he still has the frames to like do a bomb or do some other attack, like a back attack or whatever. Like You don't get a grab off of it. You don't get a guaranteed hit on block. Um, like he... His 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 basic attack does basically everything. It hits grounded, hits airborne, it's super quick, it uh is it's a great approach tool. Like another thing you gotta consider is like not only is pushback important, but like lunge distance is also a very important uh, thing to look at with with heroes. Is like you you can have a move that like does huge amounts of pushback like i guess sarge would be a good example uh like during his thing like pushback is great but uh you also want like forward lunge distance so that you can actually make use of pushing your opponent to the corner um because you can push them but then if they can get right back you're not really making forward progress in pushing them to the corner for like King, King, for example, like his basic attack is really good on getting people to the corner, which is where he shines the best. Um, but he doesn't have quite as much lunge distance on his basic attack as Lynx does, which is something to consider. I'll bring up King in a minute, but um, yeah, he has no end lag after using his bomb. It's like, yeah, I should really, I should really show you guys the clip of of. Uh, that I have of it. If if I think I think a lot of you guys in the chat here are from Infinite Server. If you, if, I'm sure you may have seen it, but it uh, yeah, you have you have one second to react to bomb. One second, and not to mention four seconds after he hits you with bomb, he can do it again. So it just makes his offense easy, easy to chain. Um, his shadow combo is undodgeable. He's the only undodgeable shadow move in the game. Um, like, there's no counterplay to it. Because he can just activate it anytime he wants when he has Mark on you. So it's a free combo. Um, yeah. So, he he's just super good. Not to mention the range he gets on his claws. His base, his low attack is a really good attack as well. Because it does very high amounts of pushback still. <laughs> it, was, it was insane how much pushback he did before the nerf. Um, but also it's super fast. Offers good follow-ups. Does good damage. Like I, I, I want to rant more about him. But I feel like, I feel like I've said most of what I want to say with like, Good bomb, good attacks, good damage, and good shadow energy gain. Like his shadow energy gain is also really good. So you gotta. It's very hard to avoid getting comboed by him when he can start his combos for free. Um, I guess one thing I should maybe do is like, how should I? How would I balance these heroes if I had the chance? I think that's a pretty good thing to do. Yeah, so one idea I have with Lynx is to balance him. I He should not be able to both... I feel like he shouldn't... He, his bomb either shouldn't stun you or it shouldn't give him a block break on his attacks. 
So my idea for Lynx is if he does a bomb and he hits you with the bomb hitbox, he stuns you in a way similar to like Sarge, maybe not the same animation, but like the, the stagger, kind of like maybe the um, zoo, like Sun Tzu or Mr. Mr. Zhang Zhu's uh, hitbox or, or animation, sorry. And he gets stunned. So you get hit by bomb, you get stunned to the point where Lynx gets a free attack on you, like a special attack or a low attack or whatever. Um, but if he whiffs his bomb, he doesn't get a block break. So if he does a bomb from far away, he can't just wait in invisible form and block break you with, with, with like kicks. He doesn't get a block break when he misses his bomb. So it actually promotes like smart usage of his bomb. And I think it still goes or it still meshes with the idea of links of like bomb stuns you, but I can also use it far away and go invisible, which is kind of what links is about, like attack from the shadow. Um, yeah, so he should either not stun you with his bomb and get his block break, or he should get his stun, but shouldn't get block break on his attacks. At the very least, not like block break on his kicks, because jump kick with block break and then four seconds into bomb is just stupid. Um, June needs her up astral ability nerfed, maybe so that it's less forward moving, less quick. Maybe it, sh it should be so like an anti air it easier. Zhu needs less rage gain. He needs, um, yeah, just like less rage gain, honestly. It's just. Just and also like vendetta and and is kind of a silly perk. It should only reduce the speed at which adrenaline or yeah adrenaline drains and not um, fix it in place. Um, another thing is if I hit Zoo, he shouldn't the drain shouldn't stop because the adrenaline drains when I don't hit him. But as soon as I hit him again, sure I deal more damage, but then the adrenaline stops draining, so I can get like. 40% of his bar into adrenaline, but that doesn't help me because he can just hit me and heal it all back. So if I'm comboing him, he shouldn't, the drain shouldn't stop. So that's how I'd balance Zoo. Clad just needs his moves tweaked, his unbreakable frames, like maybe more end lag on like up attack, um, uh, his frame, like his unbreakable frame should probably be moved back a few frames. Um, he shouldn't he shouldn't have a safe jump kick in my opinion like he doesn't need a safe jump kick he already has heavy attack which is like full screen with his his epic weapon so jet just needs her stats nerfed probably and her pushback nerfed um too much health too much damage too much healing too much pushback pretty simple stuff helga balanced super balanced i say that as a biased helga main but like I don't hear people complain about Helga. I think, you know, people understand that, like, she's hard. She's powerful, but she's fair. Like, she has counterplay. Kate is, like, um, maybe you could nerf her pushback. I don't know. I don't know how you nerf it. I don't, I don't want to take too long on this anyways. I got to get through the rest of these characters. <laughs> I'm taking too long, man. All right. Let's go next. Cobra. Um. Cobra, she's kind of a gimmick character. It's like, I really struggle against her up attack. Her up attack just blows me up. <laughs> like, her charge bite activation is like on par with like Lynx's bomb to the point where like she can stand in front of you, do her charge bite, do an up attack, and like your only option is like roll away. And that's hard to do on reaction sometimes. And again, I feel like my reaction's a bit slow, so she she blows me up. She also can just do charge bite after many attacks, like I mentioned, like after Helga special, um, like Azuma basic, I think she can just charge bite. Like, she really shouldn't have a safe charge bite activation. It's to the point where, like, I can predict that she's doing her charge bite. I can attack her, and she will still block me when I hit her block like when i hit her um 
and then she can like counter attack with the up attack or whatever. So it's just she's just a cheap gimmick character in my opinion. She was so much cooler when she had the heavier damage. The full screen heavy or low attack was kind of okay in my opinion when it was slower and did damage because whatever. Um. Yeah, I I preferred Old Cobra with her slower charge bite activation that could get you punished a lot. But when you did it and did her slow moves that block breaks, it, it felt much more satisfying. Whereas this is like just cheap. Like I, I can do it after a grab. Why should I be able to activate charge bite after a grab? And then they hit, they like they block. I do charge bite, they hit me, I block their kick, and then I do an up attack, and then they're on the ground again. Then I get another mix up. It's just, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I don't think I can like load up a tier too much, but like, just like her up attack alone makes her like just up here. Like I, I just don't see it any other way, really. Like I, I kind of feel like maybe B could be a better place to put her, but. Uh, yeah, it's, it's she's she's like a one trick pony with her charge bite and her up attack. Cuz other than like like her, her heavy is counterplay or her um um yeah, her charge bite is her her heavy attack has counterplay, her low attack has some counterplay, back attack is counterplay cuz it's unsafe on block. Special attack's kind of slow, you can deal with it. Um yeah, and her epic weapon where she gets <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah, like I, I think I need to put her A just because like I don't think if it wasn't for her block break and quick up attack, I think she would be B, but just it's whatever. It's, she's just so like the it's she's just so hard to fight because of that stuff. Um Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of tricky. Anyways, um, Midnight. Um, I kind of, I really kind of think she might still be S. Um, I kind of don't know where to put her just because I haven't really seen her put to fantastic use. You know, some people are kind of picking her up again, but uh, um, the whiff and the grab, like, I think, I think she does have the potential to be up here. I think she does have the potential to be up here with like a strong player um, because she's damn near unpunishable. She can do an attack like instantly out of shadow shift. Um, and for some reason, which I've yet to figure out, I think it's just, I don't know, but she teleports behind me all the time. So like my only option with her when she's in shadow shift is to like start an attack before she comes out of shadow shift so that I hit her block. But when I do that, she just ends up behind me. It's like if any pixel overlaps, she like teleports behind you. So it's like, how did you get there? Even at walking distance, you wouldn't get to behind me that quickly. So she must like go in and get pushed out somehow. But uh, then she gets just free grabs. Her low attack does big damage. Her frames are just so good on her attacks. Um, yeah, she's just a nightmare to fight. I think I gotta put her S. Uh, Emperor, it's tough. I, you know, I think. Hmm. I think I gotta put him B. B or C? I think B. Maybe. Um. I've been having a lot of fun with this character. Um. Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with this character. Because the thing about him is like he's like two characters in one. I think Beast on his own was like like uh like maybe eight tier, I don't know. But um his his moves are fast. He he's got a lot of moves that are like not totally safe on block. Like his um um his special kick, his uh um what else? It used to be his heavy kick before they, I don't know, did it? I think it did, yeah. Anyways, his special kick, his uh, dynasty low kicks can be grabbed. Um, what else? B 
back attack puts him pretty close. Uh, low attack has a very stubby range, so it's not great to use in the neutral. He leaves, he's very wide open. His up attack is really good to hit grounded opponents, airborne opponents, but it does have like a does have a range that if like you're at that range, he he just offers you a free grab basically. Um, yeah, another thing, he has too many counters, so his like shat like Helga for one just kills him. Sarge just kind of kills Beast. Jack, he can do okay against Jack actually, um, but. Uh, Jack, he can do okay against Jack, but yeah, I guess the the explosion. Midnight is B. No, Midnight is not B. Midnight is definitely not B. I could I could see A. I do feel like she might. Yeah, I think she's on par with like Jet. I I will drop her actually. Now that I think about it, um, I go like that. Yeah, I I I I I can be convinced on that. I don't. She's like. Her abilities are S tier, but I don't know. She does have some counterplay. Um, I I think she does need nerfs though. But yeah, I I can agree with that. I think I think so. I think she's kind of on par with like Jet and Cobra in terms of strength and annoying factor. I guess. Um, yeah. Yeah, I can agree. Okay, on, on to Emperor still. A plus section, Minna's the only one there right now. Uh no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fiddle with the tiers. I'll try and I'll try and put them where they should be. Um I think Jet might be um I'm not sure if Jet is better than Midnight or not. I think Jet is better than Midnight. Yeah, I would say it's like this, maybe. I think Cobra might be lower than Helga. I don't know, it's tough with just the up attack, but I'm going to do that for now. Um, um, Midnight is good because she's annoying. Yeah, I mean, like, annoying is a pretty good... It does correlate with, like, cheese, like, cheap abilities and also strength. Like, very annoying. And there's not much counterplay to her shadow shift, which makes her annoying. But yeah, uh, Midnight's dash is yeah, her dash is weird. <laughs> um, it's faster than the others for some reason. I think a way you nerf her is you make her shadow shift cost shadow energy. They, I, people and uh, myself and others brought that up to uh, to the devs to change it, and they, I think they said that they like. The way midnight is, which I thought was kind of silly, but yeah, she she does need some sort of nerfs for her blink or her shadow, whatever. But yeah, I think I'll stick with that. Um, but we were talking about emperor. Uh, Emperor's beast form is super good. He's really good at low crushes, so he kind of takes care of Azuma and other heroes that like are weak to low attacks. With his special attack, really. His special attack is great. Deals a lot of damage. Um, he is a bit weak when he goes into like uh, shadow form. You have to be really intelligent about when you use your uh, shadow shift ability. Because otherwise you can just straight up die. Like if you have low health and uh, do an explosion. Um, that you can really easily punish it. If you're, not, uh, if you're not using it correctly. And then you can just die. Um, I think the, the only thing that is kind of just OP in my ability is like, um, his up shadow ability when he's in, be in beast form, um, that is, it's like almost unreactable and it does super huge range. It's great for combos. I, I really think people sleep on his, uh, double shadow form ability compared to um his crit his crit projectile is very popular even though i don't think it's super good because there's not a lot of follow-ups after crit projectile um 
you can do a jump kick, but you can also do your delayed recovery kick and knock them off the ground. So I think it's kind of a bad perk in a way. Um, missing old emperor with short punches and normal attack was was my game changing here. But I I agree. I actually think I I might have had more fun with old emperor in a way. His attacks were so stubby. And, like, everything was, like, cancelable into a grab. Like, all of his basic attacks were cancelable into a grab. Uh, so you had your special kick, can or, like, first hit, cancel into grab, can be countered. Like, all of it, all of his cancels into grab can be countered. But uh, you could do, like, a single basic grab, double basic grab, or uh, um, back attack, like, one hit, back attack, grab. Like, <laughs> it's, it's uh... It, it, he was a lot of fun. Uh, he had block breaker though, which was kind of crazy. But yeah, I, I like new emperor. I think new emperor is good. Um, yeah, short emperor, but it was cool. Yeah, I wish they'd like make a, another character like that. Like that. Like I do miss it. I I I do think he was a bit struggling in his human form. Like it wasn't great, but it was fun. There was opportunities to use it for sure. Um. Kibo. I think Kibo is actually B. She's like, she could be A. I think maybe, eh, it's kind of tough. I think these two are kind of in the similar boat where they have like attacks that are just really good, but Kibo to me is like, she, if you can block, she's, she's very, she's tolerable if you have a good answer to her basic attack. And her projectiles. A lot of people love to spam projectiles. I love to spam projectiles with her. Everybody does projectile with Kibo. Um, yeah, she's she's super quick. So like, she's never not gonna be good. She's not garbage, but her attacks go like full screen with shadow energy. Um, she can be very annoying. Like, you really are on your back foot sometimes with Kibo because you have to be very wary of her basic attack. Um, she used to be a lot worse with her basic attack. Her old basic was like Ling's, and it was just so obnoxious. But, um, yeah, I, I think she, like, she doesn't have a huge, huge amount of health. Like, if you can get your offense going against her, she doesn't really have a good counter to it. Like a lot of characters like Cobra, um, you know, Sarge, Marcus, Helga. Like a lot of characters have like get off me power. Um, Kibo is kind of a punching bag if you can start punching her. But she she very quickly can turn that around on you and make your life very difficult to approach with her basic attack. Um I kind of wish her basic attack wasn't safe on block just because it is such a fast attack. Um, I think how she should be is like Marcus, where her first basic is safe on block and has good frames, but her second hit of basic is like, I'm committing to this attack. If I, if I guess wrong, I'm going to get grabbed for it. King has the ability to like consistently grab Kibo's basic attack and it makes it so much nicer. And it doesn't feel like it's unfair to me cuz like if you're going to keep spamming basic attack on me, I'll keep grabbing. You you have other options. But with other characters who can't, it's like you get pushed away. You're like, "Okay, I want to I want to attack you again, but you're just going to do another basic, so I have to stay still." So it's she kind of locks you down with the basic when it's safe. So I do think she shouldn't have a base free basic attack. Um yeah. I I she's she's kind of mid-tier to me, but she has the ability to 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 really shut down your offense if you're not able to get through her her uh basic attack. Ling. Uh Ling is a tier for sure maybe even s honestly um i could see s but i think i'm gonna keep a i think it goes like this maybe i don't know these i feel like helga and ling are kind of similar ling has some 
uh, trouble with his um, with his attacks. His back attack can be pretty easily dealt with with just grabbing. His special attack can also be grabbed. His low attack doesn't have great range. Bit of a slow-ish startup. People always say like, oh, this character is a slow startup. And it's like, well, but it's Ling. He's, none of his attacks are like slow. Uh, heavy attack can be um, um, whatever. Um, yeah. You you guys, I think you guys are maybe not, like you're saying not S, not S, but uh, he can do like infinite combos against you in the corner. Like, I'm sure you guys have seen that, right? Like, he can go basic, cancel, double basic, get his crit, basic, crit, basic, double basic, 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 double basic. Like, he can just combo you with that in the corner. Um, his shadow form or shadow gain is really, really fast. Um, um, so his forward shadow ability, his backward shadow ability are really, really good for offense. And you also get you also get a free slashing charge off of both of his uh shadow abilities, like his forward one and his back one. I would say his up shadow ability is like you shouldn't use it. It's not good compared to the other stuff. But uh yeah. Um Yeah, he used to also have a quick flask. That made him really, really strong. Like even I would say top one with quick flask. Um, there was a tech that you could do with him that I and some others kind of found, discovered, started using. Where if you did, it was a it was a roll cancel. I found if you did a roll cancel into a, his his big flask, he would do like an instant instant breath of of it, and it was like impossible to dodge on reaction. So it was it was very strong and made his offense super good. He got a free slashing charge. Now they they nerf that, which I think probably good. It's I'm a bit sad to see it go, just because he was kind of a cool little trick that you could do with him. But yeah, um, another thing with him is he he can chain like his combos chain so well. Um, he can go. Special attack, hit it. Um, crit you with a basic. Jump kick into a special attack or a basic to give him another slashing strike, which can be done again. Um, so I I think you guys are undervaluing him for not saying he's not S. He can, he can be S, in my opinion. Um, I, I, I do think that, like, yeah, I think he might be better than Midnight. But it's kind of tough, kind of tough. Um, is it? Yeah, I would say I would say Ling is might be better than Midnight. Eh, it's, it's hard. It's hard. I don't know. Uh, a lot of it is matchup dependent. Yeah, I yeah I I agree with free to player on this one. Is that people really undervalue what he can do? He he has some combos, some tricks, and just good shadow game, good damage, good health that he can destroy anybody. Like he is really, he's really strong. I I even thought that at one point he might be top one with his shenanigans. Um, there can be some counters to his corner crit infinite combo, but it's inconsistent. Um, yeah, they 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 need to fix his infinite corner combo with basic because that that stuff is too much. Um, yeah. Um, and even maybe his connecting a special attack after a jump kick i feel like that is also maybe a bit much because you can chain that and that's super strong so yeah I, I i do think he's he could be s i'm gonna put him top like pretty close to top of a um just the only thing that is a bit of a drawback for him is sometimes his basic can be grabbed um especially by like king and characters like that um but uh, like his special attack can be grabbed. Like the rest of his move set isn't very good. He's kind of just basic attack the character with special attack thrown in to get slashing strike. So, but yeah, he's he's super strong. He has combos that people do not. They wish they didn't. 
I wish I didn't have to. I wish I didn't know about it because I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could put him in S. I might do that. Um. Yeah. You know what? I think I actually think he might be. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put him S. I'm gonna put him S just because, like, if he has good timing against you, you are done for, man. Like, if he can consistently call out your attacks with basic attack, you don't like you die. You really die. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put him S because, like, a good Ling player will. Yeah, the most balanced broken character in the game. Yeah, that's a very good way of putting it. People call him balanced all the time, but like he has so much combo potential. His offense is really good. If you can hit your basic attacks, it's like, yeah. I'm going to put him there. It's tough because you don't see a lot of good Ling players, but when you do see a good Ling player, you pull your hair out because... You, yeah. The only saving grace is you can get rid of his slashing strike, but it's, yeah, it's tough. Uh, Shang. I feel like I gotta put another A, another A tier here. Um, Shang can just combo you infinitely. Like, he, he does have counters with shadow energy and stuff, but like, his, he really benefited too from the, the shadow energy on block buff. Um, people haven't been saying that really, from what I can tell. But he he does he does gain a lot of shadow energy. His downward eruption is just like it's a good starter. Um, no, you guys, you guys are you guys. I don't. He's not on the same tier as like Emperor and Kibo. I don't. I don't agree with that. Yeah, like this guy can combo you for like the whole match. Like his offense is really good. Um, you have to play out of your mind to like dodge all of his shadow bullshit. Um, yeah, like he his special attack good, good uh, whatever. Get rid of Shang's momentum and he dies. I mean, yeah, it's the same with June though, man. Like if you get rid of June's momentum, she dies too. But the momentum is easy to get going. Equal with Emperor. Equal with Emperor. That's that's kind of an interesting opinion to me. Um, I I can't do it, man. Like I know. I think the only thing is like his health is low, but uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I think he's really good. I think you guys are saying he's saying you'd be. I don't know. I've personally, from what I've seen, he he can his offense is to the point where like you you gotta be able to stop him or else he will keep you going. But a good Shang player will destroy you, even with like Helga. I've been destroyed by by Shang many times just because he gets his combo so quickly and his combo is hard to escape but yeah i can see where you guys are coming from but i i i see him as a very strong character um i think i do agree you might be he's he's lo he's definitely lower a though he's definitely lower a uh yuka should i put some people in c um I might go B for Yuka. Yeah, I'm gonna go B for Yuka. Um, he or she? Whoops. Uh, she still has a lot of her shade. Uh, BS. Like people still do the jump kick, shade, spam on me, and it's hard. It's hard to counter. 
like if you have good uh if you have good uh reactions you can do it but she's got a lot of her offense is really good it's it's hard because it's kind of stubby like the the first hit on a lot of her moves is kind of like it's very fast but it's not very long range um but Yuka's low key above midnight with the new rare. Yeah, her new rare is her new rare is is gives her wound bandaging basically. <laughs> yeah, I I agree with the the new rare stuff. Like she gets wound bandaging. Wound bandaging is back, guys. Um, I could do like that maybe. Yeah, it's it's tough. I'm I'm gonna do maybe that. I'll do maybe that. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you guys. But, uh, again, like, I don't want to front load A tier too much. But, uh, um, the one thing I will say is, um, her, she can be weak to, like, jump kicks, which is something I've kind of found, especially with, like, Legion jump kick. Um, her, yeah, you can interrupt her a lot with, like, Legion Jump Kick. She does have a bit of that weakness. A tier, no doubt. A Helger and Cobra and B. Fire Guard and C. Every character against Azuma. Really? I feel like she can do fine against Azuma, too. I, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I feel like I gotta, maybe it's, maybe it's like this, I could do like that, that's a way I could maybe separate them, have this be like a very strong, this is like strong, but eh, in that case it would be like maybe this, I could maybe, I could maybe be on board with like that, that way you're still getting Still getting up, but uh... yeah, you guys are swaying me too much. You guys got a lot of opinions, but uh, I feel pretty good about this so far. It, again, it's it's very hard because it's a three v three game, so Yuka's not below Shang. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to my guns a bit. I'll I'll try and reason it out myself with with Yuka. Um, yeah, the offense against Yuka is a bit hard because her attacks are very quick. They can be hard to interrupt. I think it is possible, but uh, um. Yeah, it is tough. It is tough. New Shang should be B minus Mac Trick. Yeah, I could maybe see that. Like that, maybe. Okay, I'm going to try and talk about Yuka a bit. So, her back attack can be uh, punished on reaction if they whiff the first hit. I feel like her back attack shouldn't be safe. She should have like at least one move that isn't safe in her move set. Like most heroes have a move that can be grabbed on on block. Um, I feel like that should be her one. But uh, um, she, yeah, she, her, she can do the bullshit stuff with with. Uh, with shade, where she can go shade into shadow form into heavy attack. That's that's a very cheesy, cheap thing, in my opinion. That shouldn't be in the game. Um, because like I should be, if you're get, if you're gonna do that, I should be able to duck the shadow form. But whatever. And then she can also do the thing where she like does a heavy attack, hits your block with shade, and then. And then gets a free guillotine on you. Free crit shade on you. Oh, I totally forgot about crit shade. <laughs> crit shade. Right, right. Crit shade. Yeah, crit shade is super annoying, man. 
I I I think I'm okay with this right now. I think I'm okay with this. Back attack is not slow. Back attack is like Yeah, back attack isn't slow. You might lose to like an interrupt thing, but it's not it's you can't react to it really. You can't react to back attack. Um you can react to the second hit of it, but not the first, which makes it fast. If you can't react to it, you're fast. Um, reading chat too much. <laughs> yeah. Um, she just, she has good, her offense is kind of like Helga's Emperor's, where it like leads into itself very well. Because she has not much recovery frames on her attacks, so she doesn't give up her turn very much. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> yeah, she, she's got a lot of bullshit that is very difficult to deal with, but I will say that like her, her move set is kind of weak to range. If you, if she attacks you from far range, you can hit her pretty well, but up close she destroys real well and it's hard to get her off of you sometimes especially when she can approach with like back attack and stuff so i'm gonna leave her where she is i think she's with her new rare yeah she could maybe be up but i got i, I gotta put people somewhere and i do think that like these people are kind of just more obnoxious He's pretty damn obnoxious. Like I feel like these two, these guys are pretty close on a like obnoxious level. Um, yeah. Uh, Azuma. Azuma is super. Uh, he's very interesting because he's, in my opinion, Azuma is like one of the most well designed characters in the game because he is strong, very strong but has weaknesses, like a lot of weaknesses in a way. Um, he is very weak to low attacks, so he gets blown up by like Legion King, low attack, Dynasty low kicks, um, anything that ducks. Because um, his his up attack is such a high hitting attack that most, a lot of stuff come under, um, come under it. Um, he, uh, yeah, his special attack doesn't have great range on the first hit, and once you're once you do that the once you start to do the the spin or whatever, you're kind of locked in, and sometimes you can like push the opponent far away, and then they can like punish you with a grab or just an attack after. Um, he he can try go basic after grab. I'm gonna count that as a weakness because. It's, it's tempting to do the basic double basic after grab. It's a mix up, um, but he can get punished for that. His back attack can be grabbed. It can also be ducked really well with like attacks, not just like a regular duck. Um, projectile also is a lot of his offense. So doing low attacks pretty consistently against Azuma is going to be of good benefit to you. Um, I think the where he shines the brightest is his um, combos, especially his corner combo. His corner combo is one of the best in the game. Kind of like it's like on par with like Legion King's corner combo, honestly. Um, he his shadow form. He gets shadow energy really fast. He does a lot of damage, especially if he's gotten the opponent doing. Um, or with their full shadow bar with that perk, um, he his neutralize painful neutralization will win you a lot of rounds, which is really nice. That that damage adds up. Um, he what else? His heavy attack is kind of a bit of a novelty attack. Um, with you can like do it after grab to predict a roll. Uh, you can also do it um, after. Uh, after a shadow, like an imp impulse, and that will be pretty. Sometimes you can do that. So, like he he's really good, but he has counterplay, and it's it's such a nice thing to see when a character is like 
super strong, but also just balanced in a way that it lets you play against him. It's it's super nice. It's super refreshing to play against Azuma in a way sometimes because you're worried about getting hit by him because he hurts, he stings, but you don't feel like you're being cheated of playing the game, which is so nice in my opinion. So I I, I do think that in terms of like as weaknesses go, he's gonna be lower B, but his power level his power level is like A, but his uh his weaknesses kind of bring him down to to B in my opinion. Um yeah, I think he's Another thing too I didn't mention is that he counters a lot of a lot of other heroes with his uh with his um with his neutralization. Um how would you balance June Hammer? Uh you f- make it so that she doesn't get block breaks on on I think an idea I said was don't let her get meteors on block. Only let her get it on a hit. She shouldn't get it on a block. Well, maybe. But I think they did a good thing with nerfing her um nerfing the the stun that she got cuz that was so annoying. Um nerf her up astral ability, nerf her damage stacks. That's it's tough. I'd need to make a separate <laughs> damn video still going. Yep, I I knew this was going to be a long one. I got to end this before before 7 actually. I got an engagement at 7, so. Yeah. Okay. Um Azuma. Yeah, so I think I said most of it all like he's got weaknesses, but his combos, his power level, his attacks are really good. He's a very timing based character. Like I'm calling you up with an attack, so I'm going to do my relatively fast attack they're kind of slow startups he can't he's a good poker too like he his fling his fling is amazing so he's he's just good he's just like solidly in the middle do king of legion yeah sure um i think maybe like that i don't know s is he could go s he tough i i gotta admit like i'm biased with this guy um in my opinion he's another really well designed character i know some of you are gonna maybe scoff at that but he he he's like one of the best characters in terms of like super powerful but also not cheap like he doesn't he doesn't like he earns his he earns his bullshit basically he earns his combos, especially with Ceaseless. I've, I'm kind of also injecting my own take on this in terms of like playing with Ceaseless Knight lately with um, no explosion. Because I will admit that the explosion on King is super easy, super cheap sometimes, especially with the jump kick. Um, like there's no real counterplay to that. You can try and anti air him, but it doesn't always work. Um, the thing I'll say with him is like his offense is really good, but it he does have some holes. So special attack is very disjointed. It's kind of like E2s in a way, where like first hit and second hit have pretty big space between them. So there is a window to interrupt him there. Um he's got a lot of end lag on a lot of his moves. So low attack doesn't do a huge amount of pushback. So if you're up close and he does it, you get a free grab. Same with special attack. If he hits your block, the last hit of special doesn't give him great frames, so you can get up to him and get a grab a lot of the times. Uh, his back attack, it's got good range, uh, and it does. It's not like Zuma's. It does hit grounded, like it does hit low. It's kind of surprising how low it hits. Um, but you can like space that out and then dash and grab him. So he does have counterplay to a lot of his moves. And I know people bring up his basic attack. Um, His basic attack is his best attack. Um, And it is oppressive. But the thing I'll say with his basic attack is there's nothing stopping you from just blocking it or spacing it out and then punishing him for it. Because a good king player won't whiff basic attack very often. But 
you can bait it out a bit. You can bait out basic attack and then grab and punish him. Um, another thing you... So, King is very weak to whiffs. Uh, if he whiffs, you can easily punish, like, all of his moves. Um, so, the key to beating King is to make him whiff his attacks. Um, if you can do that, you will do well. It's not easy all the time, but it can be done. There is a range where you can hang out at where most of his attacks will whiff. And that's where you want to be. And no, not a lot of people know where that is. Not a lot of people hang out there, but I've started to try and do that. When I've been playing Oblivion, um, I've I've kind of been doing this where I like, sometimes I'll be very aggressive, I'll push in, but other times I'll hang back and I'll bait out his attacks and then I can dash in and grab him because King players will throw out attacks as everyone does. Um, so he does have counterplay despite what you might think with his basic attack being very oppressive. Um, nothing too is like his basic attack is really good if he hits your block, but there's nothing saying you can't attack him before he hits you. A lot of times as a king player, I will use basic attack and get hit by stuff that's quicker. Like if you predict me, you can hit me. I'm not, I'm not a god. You know, I make mistakes. I make attacks thinking that they're, it's smart to do it, but it, I get punished for it. So you do, you can hit him. Um, it is slower than you might think, I guess, is what I might say. Um, not, I'm not saying it isn't a good attack. I'm not saying it isn't a good attack. Pushback is also very nice on it. Could be reduced a bit more. I can agree with that. Um, but overall, I think like the only thing that really makes him busted is like maybe his combos in the corner, but like I kind of like those. I feel like he deserves that. Like that's kind of his whole thing. A lot of characters have like better offense in general than him, um, but don't have as good combos as him. So he he you got to play him very intelligently, in my opinion. You don't see shitters playing playing king. And if you do, you can pretty easily deal with them. That's my opinion. So, is corner combo stupid? Eh, it, no, I don't know if I agree with that. It does a lot of damage, yes, but, you know, that's kind of the risk you would take when you're playing King, is this guy can combo me. So you got to do your very best to get yourself out of the corner. Yeah. If you predict their stuff, you're obviously gonna win. I mean, yeah, that's I, I agree. I know I'm I'm know I'm pulling the if you predict it card, but I'm just saying that like he's not like clad where you know what he's going to do, but you can't stop it. With this guy, you can know what he's going to do and you can make some adjustments. Um but yeah, I do I do agree. He is strong. He deals huge amounts of damage. He gets an afterlife where he can basically he heal on repeat. So his comeback potential is huge. His combos are really good. Um Yeah, I I do think he's strong. I I do agree. I do think he is like I think he's strong, but I don't think he needs nerfs really. Not much. So I'm like tempted to do like this, but yeah. Hmm. No, I I do feel like I yeah. I'm gonna put him just there. That, that's where I put him when I was talking to him. I do think he can be yes. Um, I think that's a respectable spot to put him. I think that kind of does mesh with a lot of opinions of people. I do gotta keep people's opinions in mind, but. In a way, I kind of view him as like Azuma, but way better. Um, like again, you can you can take him out with correct play. His offense isn't as oppressive as people make it out to seem. I think so. 
All right, I'm going to move on. I got to move on. I got to get through the rest of this. Sarge. Sorry about that noise. Um, honestly, it could be like this. Um, Sarge, I do agree, has a weak move set on its own. Like, it's not great. Um, especially without detonators. So detonators make this character way more obnoxious, annoying, busted as uh, than without. Uh, makes back attack safe when it shouldn't be. Makes special attack mostly safe when it shouldn't be. Um, basic attack can be grabbed. Second hit of basic attack can be cancel grabs, like uh, roll cancel grabs sometimes, depending on the spacing. Um, so he does kind of struggle a bit with like getting an offense going without his invincibility. But the thing that really makes the character is the invincibility. Um, I think I'm going to go like this. Yeah, no, like that, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to go like that. Um, his unbreakable uh, moves are good, but they're also slow. Um, so if you're at the right range, you can easily get him, like, punish him for it. Um, special attack can be punished on block. After a grab, a lot of Sarges are doing special attack. You can do a roll in towards him, and he will go over you, and then you get a free grab most of the time, almost all of the time. So that can be a good thing to note against Sarge. Um, trusty Hammer is good, but it's kind of... You're going to take a lot of risks with it. Payoff is pretty high, but the risk is also pretty, like the risk is also you, you get jump kicked basically. Um, his one thing about him is his projectile is like safe in a way. Even if you roll it, he can like do a back attack, and you you if you're doing any sort of like if you're trying to grab him, he will just commanders press you. Um, yeah. So this this guy gets shadow energy super fast. Um, and uh, um, Sarge's Def B. Interesting. I, I thought that you would be on my side here with saying Sarge is pretty high. Because I think, I think you know that Sarge can be kind of crazy. I don't think Sarge is B for sure. Not with how I've set this up. Not with how I've set this up. I think maybe, yeah. Like, lowest I would do is like that, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to put him there. Like, I, th I think he's definitely A. Yeah. Like, with... Like, he gets so... So much of his offense comes for free when he gets his uh, his shadow form. Um, and he gets just shadow form quite often. He gets shadow energy only when attacking. I mean, yeah, but he also gets a lot of it. <laughs> yeah. Plus, everything is a gamble with him. Nothing is consistent. You you make some points. I agree, but like invincibility is such a such a nice thing to have. You get so much off of that. Like you don't, you could have the worst neutral in the game, but you could still get. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So. I don't. I don't know. I feel like I can't put them any lower. I. I. Yeah. I feel like I can't put them any lower. That's just that's just how it is. Like he he goes invincible. That's never not going to be good. And yes, like I acknowledge his move set is not great on its own, but Dedos and the damage. That's another thing you got to note that like one one shadow form is enough to like kill somebody, <laughs> like with like 
the combo damage you can get from a shadow form along with afterwards like you can get an offense going so you don't nothing like he can prevent you from doing your offense because he has the threat of invincibility and turn it into his own offense so yeah I gotta put him there Jack Whew, this is a tough one because again this is a character that has arguably not great moves on paper but they are great with how much damage he does also the fact that he gets fractures on block so crazy man so crazy um this guy can kill you in like four hits three hits sometimes i'm counting like one basic attack string as a hit because it's one interaction um yeah like he also like he's really really good because his jump kicks are safe now and you get a free fracture uh you it's suicide to attack jack after a grab or a, or a jump kick most of the time because he can do any number of attacks and do a huge amount of damage. Um yeah, like I gotta um hmm. it's I feel like Jack and Sarge are kind of in a similar boat. Where it's like their offense is sometimes rough, but it pays off in a huge way. It really pays off with these guys. Yeah. And another thing like Jack will take care of probably one hero, and then you get damage and fractures on the next hero, and then you've basically won because now your next character deals more damage against him. He does too much damage, in my opinion. He does. He needs a damage nerf, in my opinion. Um, I feel like the fractures on block can stay, but it can't stay if fractures are going to scale up his damage so quickly. Yeah, like his unbreakability can totally shut down all of your offense. It really, it's kind of a gamble with Jack because you can combo him and he can die, but he's he can turn it around pretty quickly on you. So you got to really be smart against Jack and a really smart player who plays Jack will destroy you. Um, yeah. Should really put Jack in S tier because of the fractures if you're serious about considering 3v3? Yeah, I mean, I'm considering 3v3, but I'm trying not to, like, be like, oh, if you have him on your team, you're going to win. I'm trying to just evaluate each character based on their strengths. Um, I feel like i got to put Jack more than Sarge, actually. Because I am assuming that uh, you're playing these... I'm, I'm assuming you're playing optimally. optimally. For most of these characters. Um, for the most part. He is super hard to use. But also kind of not. In a way. Like you can have a lot of success. With just spamming basic. But um, yeah. I, I, I'd agree with this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably stop talking about him. He does. Just. <laughs> this is just like. When I see him. I just see. Damage. Hard to fight. You're kind of backed into a corner. Butcher. Controversial opinion. I think Bert Butcher is way lower than a lot of characters. Um, he I found that it's been pretty easy to bait out his shadow move lately. Um, bait out his shadow move, and then you can get some sort of attack or offense going on him. Um, his back attack is kind of somewhat weak to grabs. Um, same with his basic attack. Uh, heavy attack-ish, if he doesn't have tremble. Um, um, what else? People haven't exploited Butcher enough. Yes, he gains shadow energy so fast after the buff to the block. Like... <laughs> He gains shadow energy so quickly. Um, he he does need that nerfed, I think. Um, 
it's it's kind of tough. I feel like he's like that. I yeah, I'm gonna put him here. I think he's there. Um, I I haven't. I don't find him super difficult to fight. Like his neutral is not amazing. It's good, but really all you're doing with butcher in the neutral is just fishing for shadow energy. That's kind of your job. That's all you really need to do. And then if you get a good parry with your shadow form, then you win. You get your combo. But if you're good as the defending player against Butcher of baiting out his uh, shadow move and then hitting him and just surviving that encounter in the cage, you'll do well. Um, and he's not that scary if you can do that. If he does land his shadow move, you're kind of dead. But, again, the thing, too, is, like, <laughs> I, I play Azuma, play Helga, play Kate, so pretty characters that do pretty well against him. I will say he's kind of weak to shadow counters. And, uh, like, a lot of these characters, right? Like, these characters can take care of him pretty well. These characters can take care of him pretty well. Like, I feel like he's pretty easily taken care of, even if he has, like, a really good offense. Um, in terms of, like, getting his shadow abilities up and going but so i i think he's b i think he's b i don't think he's a i think people say he's better than whatever but i do admit he does gain shadow energy super fast and cage can give him a lot of damage so there is that okay e2 e2 i can't i I kind of still still think E2 is S. I, I think E2 is S. Um, this man can poke you until he gets uh, time manipulation, and then he can use time manipulation to, um, to kill you. Um, there's a lot of moves in the game where he can block it and then use his time manipulation, get a free combo, um, and then just go from there. He also gains Shadow Energy really fast. I think E2 is S tier. Yeah. Um, I will say his offense is not as difficult as some to deal with. Um, for example, his basic attack is disjointed in a way. Um, because if the first hit whiffs, you're kind of guaranteed a punish on him. Um, his low attack can be grabbed on block. His heavy attack, if you're up close, I think can be grabbed on block, but I've, it's a pretty rare thing to have happen. His up attack is kind of slow, but the range on it is huge. So, but like his, his offense isn't, isn't like oppressive on its own. I mean, his, his basic attack, his, uh, his fling. His basic attack, his fling, and his special attack are really what you can call his offense. Most E2s don't use stuff other than that. Um, but what makes him S tier is not his moves. It's his shadow form, like his shadow move, which is really, really hard to, to punish. Um, because a jump kick can be knocked down with it. Um, some Like his, if he has... A, to hold the future, whatever it is, you you can't dodge it. Um, in some cases, and yeah, he can just fish for time manipulation. He gets it really quickly, and a basic attack, which is like one of the fastest attacks in the game, like ten, like what is it, like eight frames, ten frames, impossible to react to, super fast, faster, like as fast as a basic kick. Um, and then you take like 3,000 damage in some cases. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. He, he's, he's a big combo character. He, the, what makes him S tier is not the abilities he has. It's the frequency at which he gets his abilities. Because like... He gets so much shadow energy, so much time manipulation on block that he gets his super powerful stuff super fast. You know, like imagine if King got a 
imagine if King got time manipulation as fat, or imagine if King got his shadow form as fast as E2's time manipulation. Like, that's kind of how I view it in a way. I think, sure, King's offense might be better, or King's shadow combo might be better than E2's combo, but, like, frequency of frequency of power is definitely something you need to consider because if even if you fail one of them you can just do it again it's not like you have to wait a full round to get it again um yeah he's he's quick he's fast he has fling fling is awesome and he's he, he can basically break the rules to beat you with his time manipulation which is super annoying okay uh Yunlin. Um, maybe like that I don't know I feel like Yunlin to me is an S tier character but I don't want to put everybody up here I want to separate them like you gotta remember the this section here is still super strong even up to here super strong like these are the only characters I can point at and say they've got some issues like like Maybe you're not in the best way of using them, but no one's super weak. No one, oops, no one's weak in this game. Like no one's really weak in this game. You can make anybody work. But uh, the thing with Yunlin, <laughs> she can heal on command for a lot of health. They did nerf it a bit, but it was a lot. It still is a lot. Her ethereal is kind of busted. Um. It is busted. She can use it so well. Um, what else to say about her? She's it's very. She is kind of a skill check character with her ducking her her uh, forward shadow or forward chime, or her grabbing her uh, backwards chime, um, or like not falling victim to her um, her ethereal. But it's still super hard. Like even as a top player, like you're gonna fall for that stuff a lot of the time. <laughs> it's very hard. Um, her basic attack is just super fast. There is a window where if she whiffs the first one, uh, you can do a punish. But I haven't trained myself to exploit that yet. But I really should because it is possible, and it that is kind of probably a big key to beat her. Um, special attack can like is like it's safe. It's so weird where you can grab it, but every Yunlin player does like a back attack after and makes it safe, or they do an ethereal and it makes it safe. So it's like you can grab it. Yes, that can be said to be a weakness, but it's not it's it's so strange. It's like it's not it's not grab punishable, truly. Um Anyways, yeah, her one thing that is annoying too is her grab up attack basic attack combo in the corner. That does a lot of damage, actually. Um, the block breaker ability on her is also nuts. Block breaker invisibility is also nuts. Like I think ethereal is better than invis, just because it's kind of more guaranteed to be useful. But like she becomes links. She becomes Lynx with her block break and invisibility, which is never not going to be good. Um, oh yeah, I totally forgot about Jet's invisibility. Jet's invisibility is another thing, man. <laughs> like, if I if I have to fight, like, there's a theme here. If I have to fight stuff I can't see, it's pretty good for those characters. <laughs> like, fighting games is all about. Uh, Fighting games is all about seeing what your character is doing. And if you can't see what they're doing, how can you be expected to fight them effectively? So, um, Yunlin's not bad for sure. Um, she's She can be very strong. She's very tricky. She does kind of control the match. I would say I never go into a match with Yenlin and feel like I'm in control. I never feel like I'm in control against her because she can always go ethereal. So it's like she's kind of Sarge, she's kind of Lynx, 
she's kind of I don't know jet maybe but I think she's super fast super good um yeah like up attack low attack are just decent and good like she's got she's got good attack she can if she wants to she can keep you out really well that's one thing I will say it's not she can make it hard for you to approach her um so yeah that's uh I'm trying to think if I put her any higher but I kind of kind of think I don't I feel no I I'm kind of looking at Ling and I'm thinking I feel like Yunlin's got to be stronger than Ling in my opinion but also I don't know I don't know man I don't know it's tough All right Marcus um last character here <clears throat> last character marcus marcus is a bit of a um uh, he's a bit of a curious case kind of like azuma where um he's got a lot of weaknesses on his attacks but he makes up for it in the fact that he gets his offense kind of like butcher um <clears throat> Uh, really quickly with his shadow form he has block breaker which saves him so often can be used to great effect too his low attack is very spammable especially with glitch um, his uh, special attack if you use it properly it's safe which is hard to do but uh, um, yeah, I haven't ranked him yet by the way Oops. Can I not put him back? I don't think I can put him back. Um, <clears throat> I used to think he was down low. I think he was down low until they made the shadow energy gain buff. I think that like shot him up like honestly like two or three tiers. Um, he's kind of like I would say he's almost as well designed as Azuma if it wasn't for the fact of block break. Like, without block break, this character is very fair, in my opinion. Um, heavy attack is very oppressive, but it's also unsafe. Um, you can grab it sometimes. You can do a jump kick a lot of the times. Heralds, they don't, they can't do a jump kick, but they can do a heavy kick really easily against it. Um, so it's like if you don't die to Marcus block break. Uh, you can kill him pretty easily. Um, he is kind of weak to the shadow counter characters. Um, his offense is very difficult, I would say. It can be easy if you want it to be with like spamming stuff, and you can get a lot of effectiveness out of it, but you can also get punished pretty hard for it. Um, I kind of think like with the... I think before he was like maybe like honestly I think it would have put him here before the shadow gain buff. I'm tempted to put him here now with the with the with the shadow gain buff. I kind of think he is here. Like he's he's got a great move set when it comes to like ex like interrupting opponent's attacks. Um heavy attack is good to cover options. It's like against Marcus, you got to block, but he has a block breaker, so you can't always block. But uh, yeah, I think he does deserve a nerf to his block break. I think they could probably nerf his shadow gain a bit, but he's uh, he's kind of had some issues in the past. He's been like the worst character in the game at points, and I think people are seeing that like, yeah, he can be pretty high. Um, so he's like bottom a eh? he's way better than jack no i don't know no he's not s tier like again he's pretty volatile i think his rng makes him very volatile free to player has a point with the rng but i don't want to make a i don't want to make a tier just for that um 
He's kind of like Butcher in a way. He's like Butcher, but better. Yeah, he's definitely better than Butcher. Better than, uh, better than Shang. I think better than Kate, probably. Yeah. Yeah, like I, I think I gotta put him like, I, I could see him and Helga being pretty similar ish. Um. Yeah. Difficulty does factor in with Marcus, I would say. Difficulty does factor in. I think being so much higher than Marcus is wild. I mean, Ling is kind of crazy too. Ling is crazy too. Butcher is getting robbed. <laughs> yeah, you guys all have your opinions. And like I said, like I'm not like fully confident in this. I could see definitely movement even within my own tier list um but uh yeah i think i put him here i think i put him here i yeah i gotta put him here because sure he can beat any of these characters if played well he can beat any of these characters but uh um he does have weaknesses and that's more than, or that's not as much as a lot of these characters can say. Like, a lot of these characters up here don't have much weaknesses. Um, Marcus High A. Yeah, but look at these other High A's, man. I don't think so. I, I, I think he's like, he's like Cobra and that he's just annoying. He's strong, but. <laughs> I I've personally found that he does have counterplay like you can jump over him, you can block his special attack, you can jump the second hit of special attack, you can um you can ragdoll and grab him after his basic attack. Like all of his moves have stuff you can do against him. Like up close, he's got what? Like up close to him, what does he do? He has back attack. You can either block it or roll it and grab him. He has up attack, which you can often grab him after he does that, or he whiffs it, because it does have less range than some think. Uh, low attack, you can jump it. Uh, basic attack, you can block it, you can roll it, you can grab him. Uh, special attack, you can grab him. Heavy attack, you can punish him. Like all of like up close, all of his moves have counterplay. All of his moves have counterplay. And even though he's he's like Sarge where he can go invincible, um he's he has weaknesses. So I can't I can't justify putting him super high up in A because there is counterplay. Um you can do things against him. He doesn't always control the match. You can get your way with Marcus. Phrasing. <laughs> so, yeah. Just a last, last bit of acknowledgments here before I gotta get out of this stream. Um, I think I, I can kind of agree with these guys. Um, I agree with these. I know Fireguard has his explosion and stuff, but uh, you know he's he's got a bit of a stubby move set. If you can avoid his, you can get you can make you can play the game against uh, Fireguard. I would say I hate putting Kibo down this far, but. Uh, I gotta admit, she's not as she's much more tolerable than she was before. Hmm. I wonder if I put Azuma and Kibo similarly. Although he does shadow counter, I would say. Yeah, like I can I can see a lot of movement going on in here, but I think I'm pretty set with this tier list for now, at least. Um, this is very much subject to change. Um, 
but yeah, this is this is what I would say for the heroes of Shadow Fight Arena. And I'm also proud that I didn't just put everybody in A. Because I feel like that could easily this tier list could easily turn into that uh with with those. Um so yeah. Uh any any last opinions by people in the chat here? I know you guys have disagreed with me on some stuff, but uh I guess uh, I'll, I'm always good to hear what you guys say because it might be stuff I miss or whatever. But in my experience playing the game, this has been pretty. This this kind of this tracks this tracks, but uh, yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this was pretty fun. Again, this was long. I, I don't even know if I want to know how long this stream went on. I think it went on like two, three hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've got a lot to say about this game, so I'm always happy to share my thoughts. But, uh, but uh, yeah. Jet is overranked. You ever over Bulwark and Marcus? I mean, you got to speed. Speed is power in this game. Don't ignore speed, like Bulwark, sure. You can you can blow up Bulwark with Jet by just being faster than him. So I think like played well, Jet is gonna beat Jack. I don't know. It's tough. It's tough. It's always tough to say, but uh cool. Alright, I'm gonna shut uh, the stream down. Thank you all for coming. Hope you enjoy. Um, for those of you who maybe watch this on YouTube, uh, let me know in the comments what your thoughts were. Also, you should su subscribe. Why not? You know, I haven't asked for that in a while. All right. Well, uh, I will go go elsewhere for now. So, uh, thank you for watching. Take care, and I will see you next time. Uh, and until then, keep fighting.